Hi, I'm Paris, and if you're like me, you might have set the thermostat on your furnace, your heater, a little bit lower this winter because you're afraid, like I am, of the big heating bills that will come in a few months' time. So if you are doing that and you're saying, how in the world am I going to stay warm this winter with the temperature set so low, I thought this would be a good time to try out different types of hand warmers because you can put on a certain number of jackets and hats, but for me, my hands, if they get cold, I'm cold. So there are several types of hand warmers. I'm going to review each of them in separate videos, but today I'm starting this series out with a reusable hand warmer, but it's not quite rechargeable. It's called Hot Snaps. So this box contains a number of them in different sizes. We have the little hand warmer sized pouches of them. And further down, I think there's four of those and probably four of these. These are the, called the pocket warmers. I think they're about double the volume, so they should provide twice as much heating. Doesn't mean it gets twice as hot, just mean it lasts about twice as long. These are supposed to heat up to about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And the rechargeable aspect is once it's crystallized and all the heat has been produced, you take them, you drop them into a pot of boiling water for 10 minutes or so, they get clear again, and they store up all that heat ready to be released. I'm not sure how many times you can do it over and over, but it's a sodium acetate in it with, I think, a little bit of food coloring and that metal disc. And other than that, it's just good old science happening to produce the heat. So these come charged, as it were. You see, that's clear. And there's the little metal piece. Oh, oh, I did it. Yeah, I didn't feel like it didn't make a clicky sound, but you can see that spreading through. And oh, it's instant warmth. Oh my gosh, so warm so quickly. They say to um, massage it a little, spread the crystal and remaining liquid around to get the maximum heat out of it. And then it's cold here today. I was just outside in short sleeves. And that's nice on the hands. It's a... Uh, it's not too hot. Pocket warmer, it's so big. I want to see one of these go through the stages right now. Okay, nice and clear as you can see. Let's take a look. There we go. Woohoo! Boy, that becomes liquid to solid real fast. Phase change and you get your heat production. Some massaging. Oh, this is a nice one. Just the right shape to stick on the shoulder, the back of the neck. I've got my thermometer ready. So let's see how warm these get and how long they stay warm. Okay. Smaller one here. We're up to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. 120, 122, 123. It's been 10 minutes. Let's see how they're doing. Still pretty warm. Low 120s. Over here. Yep, 121 to 122, the both of them. Just over half an hour has gone by. The smaller hot snaps showing. Oh, there was a 111, 107. Okay. Let's say around 110. And the green one, a little bit higher, 112, 115. It's been 40 minutes. The smaller hot snaps is now, oh, there's 100. Well, I give it more credit. It's this side of it is down to 90. Let me see if it's a thermometer error. No. Interestingly, this side is cooler, I don't know why, than this side, but uh, it's still a little over 100, and the green one, 102, 105, 108, also it's not, yeah, see, that's interesting, oh, I know why it's this side, oh my gosh, right behind the camera here is the window, and it is so cold out today, so the cold window on this side is reducing the heat on this side of these. The side that's away from the window is staying warmer. Very interesting. And at one hour after activating them, is there any heat left here? Well, since it's about 67 here in the room, 90, I would say, yeah. 
There's still some heat in that one. 80 on this edge, 92 on that edge. On the green one, still a fair amount of heat. We're still upper 90s on the warm edge. And still upper 80s. Well, still 80s on the cold edge. And subjectively, yes, I feel that. That would still warm my hand some. That, mm, that, not so much. I think that's about out of its useful heat, that one hour. At one hour and 30 minutes after activating, barely discernible that that's warmer than room temperature. Definitely warmer, yeah. There is still some heat coming out of this, but it's in the 80s apparently. That's not gonna do much for you out on a cold, windy day. Out for the morning walk. Got my hand warmer to click and get warming. Here we go. I've also got a green one. I'm gonna try one in each hand and see how long they last. It's about 41 degrees out right now. See how long they last and which is a better size for keeping a hand warm. My bigger green one. Okay, I'll update you shortly. And my updates, been about 20 minutes. This green one's still going strong. I found I really like holding it because even though there's a plastic edge on it, 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 it doesn't bother my hands. Now I had it in my pocket for a while and it was really comfortable to put my hand in my pocket and wrap it around this because the pocket had warmed up. And so the back of my hand was warm as well as the front, that was nice. Now the other one, which I've had in my pocket, most of the heat's gone from this already just in 20 minutes of course it is pretty cold out and i've had it out in the air a lot of the time i also found holding this i don't know something about the curve but it's it, it pokes my finger it's it's not nearly as comfortable as holding the rectangular shape almost back home after being out about half an hour the red one the smaller one there's no heat left in it i would say it lasted about 20 minutes but i did have it out in the cold breezy air for a while now the green one, it's still producing heat, and so, but it, it's much cooler. So it, under ideal conditions, the red one might last half an hour, the green one an hour, but if you're out where it's cold and windy and they're exposed to that, I don't think they'll last that long. Here's my whole collection of hot snaps. I've gone through them all, playing with them, taking them out on walks, having them to warm my hands around the house. Now it's time to fire up a pot of water and turn them back into fully charged. Time to recharge the hot snaps. Now I couldn't fit them all in here. They also say don't let them sit at the bottom of the pot because I guess the plastic could melt. So put something, so I'm using a strainer here. I'm gonna let these go in for, whoa, 10, 12 minutes. That'll keep them from hitting the bottom and melting hopefully. And we should see some changes here. They should get transparent again shortly. So what's the final word on the Hot Snaps hand warmers? Well, this would be a great choice for a family. You decide it's January 1st, my resolution is we're all gonna go out for a walk after dinner. Well, it's cold, everybody wants hand warmers. You get a box of eight of these. People can have two and have one for each hand. You can take two, use one at the start of the walk. If it's a longer walk, then activate a second one. So it gives you a lot of flexibility in that. However, one of these is not going to give you the continuous heating time of one of these, a battery powered hand warmer. This will last a lot longer and some people might say it's easier to recharge it, you just plug it in for a couple hours, whereas this you've actually gotta have access to boiling pot of water. If you're traveling, staying in hotels, you might not have a chance to recharge this. But an important factor could be price. $20 for this, but if you wanna have two hand warmers for each person in the family, you got four people in the family all going on at the same time, you'd need eight of these. You're looking at $160. With this, you get the package of eight for the 20 bucks. There's definitely a place for both. I like tech, so I like this rechargeable kind. I also like the scientific experiment kind. It's so cool watching these go into action. I'll link to both the box of Hot Snaps hand warmers and this cool little rechargeable hand warmer down below the video. And if you're saying, well, you get 
half hour, hour out of these. This one actually less than three hours, but I'm going out hiking all day long. I need to keep my hands warm well. You might be interested in my next review of this product from Zippo. This is a 12 hour hand warmer, a fire breathing hand warmer. If you want to be notified when that video review goes up, be sure and click the subscribe button down below and I'll see you with warm hands and warm heart on the next review. There are so many choices and you don't want to stress. You want your health food and home receiving only the best. That's what we're here for. We give honest reviews. Paris DX.